Welcome to Object Oriented Programming, Comp 1752, which obviously comes after Comp 1753. Yes, I didn't understand it either. This course is split into three bits. The first thing that you're being asked to do is to code a non-trivial program in an object oriented programming language. Some of you may wonder why we chose Java. Java is an easy language to learn, relatively, and it's also used a lot in industry. It's still one of the most popular languages for coders. The second section is to design non-trivial programs with a view to flexibility and reuse using appropriate design methods. That would be the object-oriented programming bit. And here you're being asked to create a program that I'll explain more about in just a minute. The third strand is to design, implement and test small software systems to conform to a specification. We've all used software that has bugs in it. Bug-ridden software gives you a bad reputation. So getting rid of those bugs is one of the things that you have to get used to learning. This course is 12 weeks long. Of that, some of the bits are taught. The first week is more or less revision. We're looking at the difference between Java and JavaScript. Believe it or not, the two languages are really different. Then we're moving on to graphical user interfaces, GUIs as they're known. And this is how you create a screen. This is not as simple as it might sound and requires a little bit of practice. We're then going to go over loops and data structures. Data structures are things like arrays and array lists, and these are really useful when you're programming. We then have a bit of a break. There's an employability week, and this is where we make sure that you get the best jobs out there. You come back to two weeks on object-oriented programming, the theory and the practice. Object-oriented programming is made to sound much more difficult than it actually is. There are a lot of long, complicated sounding words. But you'll find it's really not as bad as it seems. Having got through the theory, we're then going to look at files and exceptions. This is a way of ensuring that you can keep data that you're going to reuse later on. Then we hit the testing bit. This is the bit that makes you really professional. Then we're going to round off with recursion and searching. Recursion is a way of repeating code, but in a particular way. And searching is obviously something you need to be able to do to ensure that you get the records that you want. We're going to be looking at coursework hints and helps, and then that week the coursework is due in. So the following week we're looking at technologies for storing data that are not straight plain files that we'll have looked at in week 8. We're going to be looking at XML and JSON.